there's no such thing as a Republican judge or a Democratic judge. Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch steering clear of politics. Justice Neil Gorsuch showed us who he was, and it's not a good look. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. If you watched the first Supreme Court arguments of the year, you'd have noticed a few things were off. All of the justices were seated at the bench wearing masks, except for Justice Neil Gorsuch, who was maskless, and Justice Sonia Sotomayor, who was absent. Now, Sotomayor, or as I like to call her, the crusader for the common people, well, she was dialed in from her chambers, and this wasn't normal. And now we know why. According to NPR's Nina Totenberg, Justice Sotomayor was physically absent from oral arguments because she has diabetes, a condition that puts her at a higher risk for serious illness or even death should she contract COVID-19. In fact, she's been the only justice consistently to wear a mask during oral arguments and around chambers. Now, with the recent Omicron surge, well, Sotomayor communicated that she doesn't feel safe sitting next to anyone in oral argument when people are unmasked. And so, check out how the court responded after Sotomayor made the comment. Chief Justice John Roberts, understanding that, in some form, asked the other justices to mask up. They all did, except Gorsuch, who, as it happens, sits next to Sotomayor on the bench. His continued refusal since then has also meant that Sotomayor has not attended the Justice's weekly conference in person, joining instead by telephone. Now, before I share my thoughts, let's check out social media. Justice correspondent for The Nation, Ellie Mistal, tweeted this. Confirmation of what we all already knew. Whatever you think about Mass, Gorsuch, who sits next to Sotomayor at work, just decided to be a dick to a colleague. Founder of the Snow Pack, Shannon Freshor, well, she tweeted, Color me shocked. Neil Gorsuch is an asshole who thinks he should get to control others' bodies, but no one should get to control his. And our friend, comedian John Fugel, saying, well, he made this eloquent observation. Irony is that Sonia Sotomayor can't be there because of Gorsuch, who's not supposed to be there. Let's be real here. All of those observations are truly telling. Gorsuch has the nerve to refuse to wear a mask indoors while seated next to his colleague who's vulnerable to possible death from a highly communicable disease. Where's the collegiality? Where's the common sense? We lost 850,000 people to COVID in the United States so far, and everyone knows that Omicron is far more contagious than Delta, and Delta is far more dangerous in terms of symptoms. Yet Gorsuch is willing to put his colleague's life at risk and force her to work remotely simply because he doesn't want to wear a mask in a federal building, even though everyone else does per Biden's mandate. Now, you probably wonder why the court doesn't simply pass a rule requiring everyone to wear a mask, and that is really actually just beyond me. Regardless, Gorsuch's response seems very callous and cruel, and he should be the one who's quarantined, not Sotomayor. As for his refusal to wear a mask, it not only displays a lack of basic civility as a coworker, but also a lack of humanity. And that's not a good thing from someone who's going to be making decisions governing the humanity of us all. What are your thoughts on this issue? Is Gorsuch in the wrong here? Or, you know, should he be moved to chambers or Sotomayor just stay where she's at? You let me know in the comments below, hit the like and follow button, and thanks for watching.